part is the governance structure of circles and double links, with every circle having a domain and aims. What does that mean? Please get ready to write and draw. We have a circle, which is a committee, which we call the general circle. We're going to go over this lots more. You will be very familiar with it. This is the most abstract, long-term, overarching planning for the organization and coordinating of the parts. We have functional circles, which are attached to it. As we go out on this chart, the functional circles are more specific and concrete, and they do something very focused and concrete. This is more abstract in general. We're doing overall long-term planning. This is a shorter-term planning on specific things. So if we have an intentional community, this might be the finance circle. This might be the promotions and marketing circle. This might be land use and repair and maintenance and physical things. Uh, this might be membership, how we get new members, let folks know we're here, which we do with help of promotion circle. And we help orient people, and we decide whether or not we would like them to join us. And if we are a member-led group, we might do something similar. Will you hold your question until we're done, and then I'll be happy to answer it. OK. So this is much more specific than the general circle. So now we know what circles is, but what is double links? So I'm going to make some little people that are in our circle. These little black circles stand for people. So if you'll notice, there are two people that are in the middle of the circle. And these people have a special function, which is the, the ones that I'm making red, are to help the people in the circle that they are also in get all the news, ideas, suggestions, proposals, concerns, issues that are, that are happening in the whole group as reported to the general circle. So these little red arrows going this way are people whose job, among other things, is to help these people know everything that's going on. Well, how do they know everything that's going on? Because of the little green person, I'll make the arrow going this way, the little green person makes the general circle know everything about land use, everything about promotions in the current time, and what's going on in finance, and what's going on in membership. And then these people together, those eight people, or perhaps 10 people, or perhaps more, but not that many more, are like a steering committee. They do the overall planning and coordinating. They create these circles. They give them their domain and aims, which we'll talk about next. And they help coordinate their activities. There might be another circle, though. Promotions might decide they want to have a website. So they have these two people do the website. Website is a part of promotions, but it gets to be its own little circle. As you can see, we're going out from the center. We're getting more focused and concrete and specific. Over here, this is tours. The membership committee wants people to have tours of the group. I'm pretending this is an intentional community. And so you see, the general circle does overall planning. Membership takes care of membership. But over here, they do something real specific. So please imagine that everything gets more specific the farther we go out. OK? What are domain and aims? What does that mean? Domain means the, the area of responsibility that we have. Our area of responsibility is to provide financial services to our group. So I'm going to write domain. Well, whomever has that phone, please turn it off for now. Thank you. So I'm going to put a D here. Every single circle has a domain. You don't have to remember this. This one is to take care of the whole group. 
You don't have to remember this because we're going to look at it again. Okay. And every single circle has, a, has one or more aims. What the heck is an aim? It's an ongoing objective. It's what we deliver to the people we serve. Who do we serve? If it's an intentional community, we serve our community. If it's an intentional community that helps others in some way, well, we also serve them, the people we intend to help. So every circle has a clear set of aims. There may be one, there may be more than one. It's kind of general and abstract. It's not the same thing as goals. It's not the same thing as tasks. Why? It's ongoing. We provide financial services to our group. There are specific things we do. We can learn about that later. But for right now, please know that the first thing is circles and double links, each one with a clear domain and a clear aim. Now, I heard somebody earlier, I think it was you, Corey, telling somebody that in your group you have distributed leadership. The people that are putting on events have some kind of blessing from the group to just do it because they're good at it. This is distributed leadership also. There are four roles in each of these circles. And so that's a lot of leaders. It's distributed. It gives more people more option to do service. In a small group, are we all doubled up doing more than one thing in more than one circle? Sure. But if our group is larger, it might look like this. 